in the instructions by Dennis Baines, referee for this fight. Again, this is a five round, three minute each round fight for the champion for the three weight division, the amateur. He's fighting out of the grindhouse in Billings. Um, very tough, tough camp again. Great team. Uh, those guys go to work. They're well renowned in Montana. Uh, everybody knows who the grindhouse is, and uh, they don't mess around, man. They get a lot of tough kids come out of the grindhouse for sure. They touch gloves, and here we go. Starts out with the jab. Oh, and leg kick. Oh, that's not going to feel early. good. That's, that's early. That's early to get that, you know what I mean? That's not it's important he takes his time though. Um, exactly. They give him the, they give him up to five minutes, so he needs to he needs to make sure that he takes the time. A lot of times fighters are uh, feel like they're pressured into getting right back to it. You know what I mean? But right. I'm sure his coaches are telling him, hey, you know, take your time, take your, take Agreed. breath. Yeah. You know, make sure you're right. For myself, multiple times, he's very uh, knowledgeable about the game of MMA. He he's a very very good ref. He's he's the premier. Yeah, he's been around the game for a while. Yeah, I, I guarantee that guy can do any level. Yeah. And he's going to go back to start kicking. <laughs> They're brave. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Chris is the more uh, low center gravity kind of guy. Six foot, looks a little more uh, solid in the legs. Um, where I would think that would benefit more him for the wrestling side of thing. Where uh, he's fighting a taller fighter with the... You know, a little bit lengthier. Um, usually, the shorter guys kind of got the advantage. But yeah, it's, I mean, they, I mean, you guys always hear these guys talk about getting to the underhook. The underhook, it's kind of the race to the underhook. And that's where the underhook comes into play right there. He just gone to the ground with the yep. underhook. Yep. He's getting ready. It looks like he's going to try and get to side control here and get that leg out. Yeah, I think he kind of needs to probably be a little bit patient at this point. It don't look like he's got any anything great. Um, I think he. Don't expel too much energy and uh, set something up. Um, you know, be patient with it. Uh, both guys are good fighters. Got some experience, both of them. So just now be he, patient with it. He's got him in side control. Now, right now, he needs to get to his belly and shrimp out and kind of take his rear. There you go. Yeah, he might as well get a leg over top if he could, too. And at and, the same time, and go into a full mount, you know what I mean? Get on top of him and. Uh, but he don't, it sounds like he's not getting much resistance right now, nope. so he's comfortable with what he's got. It's not like he, he's not really trying to stand up. Nope, there he, there's pulling full yeah, guard. Now he's in guard. He could have, he might have been able to not escape that guard by getting a leg over. Right. Butch Rage is trying to throw hammer fists. Spur around, so defending. Yep. You know, intelligently defending, that's the big key in right this position. And a lot of time, jitsu, that's what you're taught. A um, big part of jiu-jitsu is the defense of it. Um, you know, if you get in the guard and uh, save energy and let the other guy work his way or, you know, expel himself too much right. Right. and let him fall into something kind of a thing like the Hoist Gracie used to do, I mean, he's the master of it, and that's what he used to do is wear them big guys out and catch them sleeping once they're gassed. Hoist Gracie was phenomenal for the sport. Absolutely. Amazing. There will never be anything like it again. No, not at all. Just because I think everybody he needs to, he needs started to, reading his book. He's going to fight out there. He's going to stop this fight. He's, he's looking like, like, yeah, he's got to do something. He's got, you know, he's got to help himself. Six seconds he's got to work. There you go. Two seconds left in the round. And he goes. I think that's where he needs to start. Start there, you know, little battles. Win little battles at a time. Keep it in the center. Try and stay in the center of the ring. There with that, there with the idea for that little battle is Chris just takes him and throws him against the cage. Yep. He gets right back to where yep. they started. Yep. At the put end him, of the first round. Put him right up against the cage. He's on top, right up against the cage. You know, wrestlers, they, they train to manipulate your opponent's body and weight and yeah, use their momentum against them. Exactly, yeah. and you just saw a perfect example of that right there. Yep, yep, it was. And he's got him in his modified side control, I guess you'd say. Looks like he's getting ready to try and get a choking or just flatten him out. He's yeah, I would like out. to see him pull, try and get that right leg out and uh, get into a full mount. And I think he's I think he's trying, I think he's just tight. Right. And this is where Spur around, so needs to. Oh, he's got his arm under a leg now. He's in trouble. Oh, he is in trouble. 
He needs to buck. Yeah, and shrimp. Can... Get out of there. Get back to fighting stance. Right there, you see the great. And he's more low center to gravity. He's, he's a, you know, they're probably close to the same weight, but in a way, he's kind of the heavier man because he's six foot and he's more centered. Sure. So it's more weight on top of him. I think that's. where he's pull guard. Oh wow! Oh, he just pancaked him. Showed, showed a lot of strength right there with that move. That's that's pretty impressive. That is impressive. This is not a light man. No, to pick up a pick up a man that size from that position, that's pretty amazing. But it does take a lot of, out of you to do that. So hopefully Absolutely, yeah. You don't want to expel that much energy doing that. Yeah, but you can tell by the size of his legs. He's a, you know, a lot of times fighters don't got legs like that. No, not at all. <laughs> He still has a closed guard looking to control his body, keep him extended so he can't strike down or if he gets him too close where he can't get the momentum so the yeah, punches don't he, hurt as and much. And he's got to keep in mind, it's it's pretty tough to lose a fight when you're when you're like this, you know. Don't At this point, don't go out there and get yourself caught in something silly because this guy, you know, he is a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So he, he can definitely catch an arm, catch a wrist or something. Right. For sure. He knows how. And Chris Latre's keeping that body center gravity over top of him so he has a weight advantage, yep. making him carry his own weight. Yeah. back it looks like he's trying to go for the elevator to And it looks like he is being patient, you know, he, he's not he is being he's fighting a smart fight right now. Yes. They're both smart, smart, and he, and smart he's fight. in his coach's corner. I mean his coach his coach is right there, he's in his corner right now on top of a guy with his coach talking to him. It's kind of it's kind of for an arm bar. That's to the game plan, pretty much. And it's so important to be in your corner. Yeah, for sure. And that's the end of round number Just two. Just Got some reach. I can see it. He's got long arms. I'd like to see him use it to his advantage. And here we go, round number three. Three of five. There's see right there. Just stay at range and stay there. And they're going right against the cage again. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work out for him. Looking for the trip. And he's, and he's on his back again. He's the pull guard. We've got to move our TVs here. Yes. They're right in front of us. <laughs> Best seats in the house, actually, being inside, oh, being inside, inside the cage. Yeah, I'd do this for free for this. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And what a car to do this for free. Oh, you go for it. Oh, he does. He, oh, uh, he almost had it. He almost he's had it. He's got a glove. He's, he's, he's got a hold of a glove. Side side control now. He's making him work for this, that's for sure. Definitely, I, and I think um, actually the guy on the bottom right now is expelling a lot of energy where the guy on the top is just kind of. Carrying all that weight. Yep, let, being patient. The guy on top is the one being patient right now. Right now, what he could go for is a lockdown to flip Crystal Trey. He needs to cross those legs, isolate that arm, and roll him and get in top position. He's working it. He's working. Oh. Well, he's trying to try and sneak the back there. Google. Chris's mouthpiece is hanging out. He's, he's tired. Yeah, they're both, they're both sucking a lot of wind right now. Yes, they are. There's a lot of fighting left, too. Oh, that's a that, good. That's a good solid. It right was, up. yep. From the ground. Stay busy. Let's go. Posturing up. See, so he needs he needs to hold him down so he can't posture up to bring that momentum down. Just like that. Perfect. Yeah. And he can actually and submit hopefully it from get this him to position. Stand, he could. I think his best bet is to maybe hold for a stand up right now. Go with a butt. Get busy, guys. Let's go. Stand. The ref is looking at it. They're starting to move now. Back to side control, but he's got a right. Oh, his wrists came out. Slip it through. Hands are clean again. He's going to try and take his back. He needs he to stop should. him from that. For being this big, they're still being very active. 
Yeah. They are, yeah, definitely. Awesome. Yeah, they're both working for position right now. And, uh, it's a it's a grappling war right now. You know, a lot of times uh, the fans will frown on this, but, you know, it's part of the game, and they are working for stuff right now. People don't really understand that, that uh, it's still a game that can be ended at any point from here. Absolutely. This is what they call in the trenches in MMA, and that's yeah. where a lot of fights are won is in the trenches. Yeah, absolutely. And that looks like it's going to be the end of round number three. That's the end of round number four. I think I'm a better fighter. Absolutely. And it's easy for us because we're sitting outside. Exactly. Yep, yep. <laughs> and his coaches are they're doing the same thing. Exactly. Right? That's why they go back and analyze it. Yep, yep. Here we go. Round four. See, he's just Attention. standing there. Going Good to body, body shots. Going to body. Oh, big knees to the body. Good body work. Oh, roll it, roll it. He can roll it. Good Chris scroll. is tired. Good Chris scroll. looks Chris very is tired. Very tired. But he's a good wrestler, man. He's getting those ankles. He's, he knows how to wrestle. Even yes. if he is tired, he knows how to wrestle tired. He's jabbing from the ground. You can tell he's this ain't his first rodeo being nope. tired. Oh, he got a reversal. Oh, he got no, he's full, full mount. mount. This could go spell trouble because I don't see any defense from Chris right now at he all. He's going to work. He needs to buck. He's going to call this fight. He will, too. He needs to protect himself. He needs to intelligently Bridge protect himself. Bridge something. You got to do something. You got to get out something. of there. Why did he come off? I don't know. Why idea. did he come off? Oh, man, I don't know. That was weird. I have no is idea. Is he going for submission? He is. He looks like he's going for Americana on that left arm. Did he have? He, he needs to go he, back to. He's got. He's going after Americana again. He wants to submit the wrestler, and he taps. He gets the Americana. I've seen a lot of things in my day in the MMA world. But I have never seen there it. There you go, man. That tells you a lot of oxygen around those muscles. That's exactly it. Now let's go to Dennis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new heavyweight champion, Big Sexy Spur!